Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Hello, Susi. Hello, Teresa. Hello, Pedro. Hello, teacher. Hello, are hello. You? How are you? I am good. And you are? I'm exciting okay. for, the, for the class. You are excited for the class. You are excited to learn English. Exactly. Yes. Well, and this is your class number seven. Tomorrow is your last class of module one. Tomorrow is your last class in this model. So congratulations. <laughs> Very good. Well, we are still waiting for the other guys, right? And I hope they can connect. I hope they connect today. So, meanwhile, I'm going to show you what are the topics for today's class. Okay. I'm going to show you. Today's topic is what time is it? What time is it? This is our class number seven, and today is Thursday, May 11th, 2023. Okay, good. So, um, the objective by the end of this class, we will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. You will practice conversation between two people in different places. And by the end of the class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expression and practice giving the time. Okay. And what time is it in this moment, guys? What time is it right now? What time is it right now? It's 3.03. It's 3 with 3 minutes, right? So you have to remember the numbers. We are going to remember, we're going to practice and use the numbers. And you will practice telling the times in different ways. Okay. So we're going to start with this conversation. The conversation is, what time is it there? What time is it there? It's a conversation between Debbie and John, okay? So I'm gonna read the conversation for you. And it says like this. Hello. Hi, Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. And so in this conversation, you can see there are some uh, questions and phrases about time. For example, it says, the first question is, what time is it there? ¿Qué hora es allí? ¿Qué hora es allí? What time is it there? And he answers, it's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Another expression, I'm awake. Okay. So the, the conversation in Australia is 10 p.m. But in Los Angeles, what time is it in Los Angeles? Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning, exactly. Or 4 a.m. 
we can say 4 a.m. And what is the meaning of I'm awake? I'm awake. I'm awake. What does it mean? Estoy despertando ahora. Ok, I'm awake significa estoy despierto. Estoy despierto. Uy. It's an adjective. Estoy despierto o despierta. I'm awake. And he is asleep? Or she is asleep? Él está. Sleep is me. It's the opposite. What is the Dormir. opposite of despierto? Dormir. Dormido. Dormido. He is asleep. Está dormido. He is awake. Él está despierto. Okay? So, are you awake? Are you awake in the class? Or do you need coffee to be awake? I have my cup of coffee to be awake. Okay. <laughs> Pedro, and your cup of coffee, Pedro? Where is mm. it? Where is your no. cup? Uh, before the class. Oh, I drink okay. coffee before the class. You had coffee before the class. <laughs> so you are awake now. You are awake. Right? You are oh. awake. <laughs> Very good. So... Awake. Who would like to practice the conversation in front of the class? Can we have two people practicing the conversation? We need two people. Okay, or two victims. Victims. Susie, would you like to practice the conversation with, with Pedro? Okay. Okay. Light. Hello. Camera. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I call him from Australia. Australia? I am the company in Sydney. Remember? All oh, right. What time is it this evening? It's a uh, ten p.m. and it's four o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, John, uh, four a.m. Oh. I really sorry. Thank you. Okay. I am waking. No. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay? That's, that's okay. I am waking now. Awake. I'm awake. awake. I'm awake now. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Susie and Pedro. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. Very good. You're welcome. So now we're going to learn how to tell the time in English. We have here some clocks. These are clocks. Estas son relojes. Clocks. Clocks. But if you wear here, in your hand, that's a watch, okay? Watch, and these are clocks. Sorry, you can see here, for example, it's one o'clock, it's one oh five, it's one oh five, or it's five after one. 
Another one, it's 115, 115, or it's a quarter after one. It's a 130, quarter. it's 130. Another way to say 130 is this. La una y media o la una y treinta. Aquí dice son la una y treinta. Pero hay otra forma también en lo que podemos decir la una y media, que es x half. X half after one. X half after one. Okay? Then we have x one forty. X one forty or x twenty to two. Se fijan, ya no usamos el after, sino que usamos el la prepos, the preposition to, the preposition to. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí ya no está diciendo los minutos después de la hora, sino los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora. En este caso, it's 20 to 2. Como decimos en español, 20. Faltan 20 para... para. Uh -huh. And in this one, it's 1.45, es la 1.45, or it's a quarter to two. Un cuarto para las dos. Entonces, para decir la hora en punto, vamos a usar la expresión. ¿Qué expresión para decir la hora en punto? O'clock. 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 Luego, para decir eh, de entre, la, uh, entre una hora y la media hora, podemos usar esto, esto. After. Hay otra expresión también que se puede utilizar que significa lo mismo y es pass. It's five past one. It's five past one. Ok. We can use that one. It's five past one. Y significa lo mismo. Podemos usar after o podemos usar past. Vamos a ver. Another one. Another expression is a quarter. A quarter la usamos. Um, a quarter for 15 minutes. For every 15 minutes. Por cada 15 minutos usamos. A quarter. Puede ser a quarter after o a quarter to. A quarter after, que significa después, o un cuarto para las, la siguiente hora. ¿Ok? La otra expresión es half. It's half after. E and two. ¿Ok? So those are the key expressions. Esas son, um, esas son las expresiones clave, okay? The key expressions to tell the time. Good. You will see it in the next slide. En la siguiente diapositiva van a verlo. Ya puedo pasar a la siguiente. Can I pass to the next slide? Yes. Thank you. Mama, voy a pasar, me voy a saltar. Okay. So over here, lo que les decía, ¿verdad? Que podemos usar after or we can use. What is this? Pass. Pass. Exactly. We can use after or we can use past. Aquí les voy a poner el after para que se acuerden. Y también en este otro lado, we can use to or we can use. What is the opposite of after? El opposite of after. El, el antónimo Before, exactly. Before, que significa antes. After significa después. ¿Ok? Before and after. Entonces. Ok. 
clock. And remember that one, every minute, every number is five minutes, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60 minutes, it's one hour. Entonces aquí tenemos el five pass. Vamos a hacer el ejemplo con las tres de la tarde. Las three. So we're going to start here with three. ¿Qué sería? What time? What time does the class start? The class starts at... What time does the class, the English class start? The English class starts at what time does the English class three start? At three o'clock. The English class starts, comienza, starts at three o'clock. Okay? Then we can say las tres y cinco. ¿Cómo digo las tres y cinco? Lo puedo decir, it's 3.05. Esa es la forma más fácil. Pero también puedo decir, it's, al revés, it's 5 past, it's 5 past, 1 past, mm -hmm. Three. Past three. Three. Five, past three. Five, past three. Correct. Okay. Right. How can I say last three? Yes. Three, three. La forma más fácil. It's three. Ten. Ten. It's three ten. Or it's ten. <laughs> Yes, I agree. After, 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 after 10 past three. 3 or after 3. It's 10 past 3 or it's 10 after 3. Okay, then we have las 3 y 15. How, how do I say 3 y 15? How do I say that? It is. It's three. It's three. La forma fácil. How do you say quince in English? Oh, cuatro. Fifteen. Three. Fifteen. Or it's a quarter. Un cuarto. A quarter. A quarter. Pass. Pass three. Exactly. It's a quarter past three. Okay. How do I say son las tres y veinte? It's three. Twenty. It's three twenty. It's three twenty. Or it's... Twenty. 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 Por ahí escucho algunos ruiditos. Ahí van a disculpar que a veces le silencio el micrófono. Ok, thank you. Now, we have it half pass. En este caso serían las 3.30. How can I say 3? 3.30. It's three, 
Or it has passed three. De esas dos formas puedo decir las tres y media. It's three thirty. Las treinta or me, o las tres y media. It's half past three. Ok. Muy bien. Do you have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Are you awake or asleep? I need coffee. I need coffee. <laughs> okay, now we are going to pass to the other side. Vamos a pasar al, al otro lado del reloj. Ok, aquí si se fijan, vamos a decir los minutos que hacen falta para la siguiente hora. Remember that. Okay, remember that. Y igual, vamos a usar las dos formas para decir la forma fácil y la otra manera. Entonces, como digo, las 3.35. It's three. 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 Four. It's Two, twenty-five four. to four. Or Two, it's twenty-five before four. Okay. Good. Okay. Three. Then, how are the last three forty. Or it's twenty twenty four to four to four, yes. Okay, three forty five. It's three forty five. It's three forty five. It's three forty five or it's a quarter to four. Un cuarto para las cuatro. Un cuarto para las cuatro. Okay. How do I say las tres cincuenta? It's three. It's three. Fifty. It's three fifty. Or it's ten. Ten two. Two four. Ten two. It's ten to four. It's ten to four. Okay. Then we have three it's three fifty five five or is five to four five to four five to four and that's it right easy right easy or difficult Six o'clock. Three o'clock. <laughs> and what time is it now? What time is it right now in this moment? It's three twenty-five. It's three twenty-five or twenty-five three. 
or 25 past 3. 25 Excellent. Past three. Excellent. Very nice. Great. Hello, Victor. Good to see you. Hello, teacher. Carlita. Raul. Guillermo. Eric. What are you drinking, Eric? Uh, it's water. Okay, it's water. Good. <laughs> I have water too. I also have water here. Water and coffee. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Do you have any questions, guys, about this topic? Are you ready to take the exam? Uh, An exam on telling the time. <laughs> when, when use o'clock? Es para decir la hora en punto. Okay. It's three o'clock, it's four o'clock, it's five o'clock, it's six o'clock. The class starts at 3 o'clock. Es para decir la hora en punto. Son las 3 en punto. Son las 4 en punto. ¿Ok? No, no le Great. Ya puedo pasar a la siguiente diapositiva. Can I go to the next slide? Yes, yes. Next. Yes. Okay, I, I will just send a picture of this for the people who is having problem with the internet connection. Mm -hmm. So I will send the picture so you can have it there. Very good. Okay, so now you're going to help me to match match the time with the sentence, with the correct sentence. So what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Okay. For example, we have, what time is it? The first one. It's 20 to 1. No, la primera. Sí, aquí dice 20 to 1, pero vamos a Relacionar, we're going to match, for example, this is 5.15, it's 5.15 or it's quarter to past five. It's a quarter past five, exactly. It's a quarter past five, very good. Okay, what time is it? It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Okay, what time is it? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty or is half. Half. Half past seven. It's half. Half past seven. Seven. A las siete y media. It's half past seven. Okay. What time is it? It's twelve. It's 12. It's 12. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 a.m. Okay? We can use that. Okay. It's 12.40 or... It's 20 to 1. That's correct. Okay, what about uh, the next one? It's A20 or? Mm. 20 past 8. It's 20 past 8. Okay, it's 225 or? It's 25 past 5. 25 past 2. 2. Past two. Okay, it's seven fifty-five or 
It's five to eight. Or it's five to eight. It's five to eight. It's five to eight. Okay. It's seven forty-five or it's a quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. A fifteen or is quarter past eight. A a quarter past eight. It's eleven forty or twenty two quarters. It's twenty to twelve. Okay. It's ten fifty or ten to eleven. It's ten to eleven. Is five twenty five or it's twenty five past five? Five. Yes. It's six o five or it's five past five. Wow! Very nice. Congratulations. You can tell the time in English now. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Good. Again, we have, but this is more difficult because you need to know the time in Spanish too. <laughs> Tienen que saber leer el reloj, the clock. You need to know how to read the clocks. Okay, so in this case, you see what time is it? It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Oops, sorry, give me a moment. Four o'clock, yes. And what about the second clock? It's it's half past two. It's half past two. And what time is it? Six o'clock. It's six o'clock. What time is it? It's half past one. It's half past one. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock. And finally, it's half past 11. It's half past 11. 11. Yes, it's half past 11. Very good, very good, guys. Very nice. Easy, right? Very easy. Okay, now before we practice in pairs, I need to take the attendance. I will take the attendance, okay? Voy a tomar la asistencia. So please say present or here when I mention your name. Okay? Okay. Give me one moment. Good. Okay, the first person in the list is Alexander Enrique. I think he's not in the class. Okay. What about Brandon Eduardo? Christian Alexander. Edwin Edgardo. Edwin Armando. Eric Fernando. Present. Thank you, Eric Fernando. Eric Ronald. Eric Ronald Rosa. Okay, he's not present today. Um, Eric Fernando si está bien. Okay. Yes. He's always in the class. But Eric Ronald is not today connected, right? Uh, Guillermo Acosta. Present. Henry Ivan. Henry Jeremías, Hilda Gabriela, Inés del Carmen, Jeremías Efraín, Carla Elizabeth, okay, Carla Joana Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Carla. Noé Avisay Figueroa. Norma Elizabeth Cervellón. Oscar René. Pedro Miguel. Present. Rafael Antonio. Creo que él tenía problemas de conexión. Raúl Alfredo Castaneda. Present. Susana Guadalupe. Present. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. 
Víctor Manuel Guardado. Hello, baby. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alfonso. William Alfonso Tadeo is not present. Okay, very nice. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for connecting to the class. Okay. Good. Now, guys, you are going to practice in pairs. And we have these questions here. Four questions. The first question is, what time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? ¿A qué hora te levantas? What time do you wake up? Oh, you say, I wake, me levanto a las, I wake up at 5.15 a.m. Or a quarter past five. Okay, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at half past 12 or 12.30. What time do you drink coffee? Oh, I drink coffee at 8 a.m. and at 3 p.m. Okay. What time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 10 p.m. So those are the questions. Please copy the questions and write the answers. Ustedes pueden escribir las respuestas así en, por ejemplo, I wake up at 5.15 or at 5, sorry, or at a quarter past 5. Escribanlo de las dos maneras para practicar. And a quarter past five. Guys, if you notice, when we um, when we say the time, when we tell time, we use the preposition at. Usamos la preposición at. ¿Ya se fijaron? At, for example,
I have English class. I have English class at 3 p.m. on Thursday or Friday. <laughs> okay, I have English class at 3 p.m. at 3 at. So we say at. Para decir a la, we say at. Okay? Good. So, are you ready, guys? Can I? Ya, chicas, puedo mandarlos a la salita. ¿Qué dices? No. No yet. No, todavía no. No yet. And now, guys, ready? If not, you have it there in the WhatsApp group. Ahí están en el grupo de WhatsApp para que lo terminen de escribir. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see. problems with the salitas, me avisa. You will practice. You will practice. Ask and answer the question. Not What time do you wake up? I wake up at five o'clock. What time do you lunch? 
I have a lunch at 12 o'clock. What time do you drink coffee? I have a drink coffee at 3.30. 3.30. Ah, 3.30. 3.30. Okay. What time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 10 o'clock. Bye bye. <laughs> Entonces, no sé si, si quieres que uno de nosotros pregunte y el otro responde. Ajá, la, la cuestión es que yo no he entendido mucho la, la respuesta. La ah. respuesta es que como, como hay dos tipos de respuesta, ¿no? Ajá. Ah, en la hora pareja, nada más la hora o clock. Ajá. Pero para donde ella puso el ejemplo decía, I wake up at... 5.15. Ajá. Este, o oh, oh, ahí decía oh, como. A quarter past five decía después el ejemplo. Ajá. ajá es allí, que... allí es donde me pierdo yo. No, no sé qué. En este caso yo lo que le he entendido es que cuando decís a quarter past one, past five, es que está diciendo como que fue eh, un cuarto después de las cinco. Ah. Ajá, porque ah. el quarter es como un cuarto. Pas después. O oh, pasado, ajá. pasado, ajá, un cuarto pasado de las cinco. Ajá, ya. Entonces lo podemos decir ajá. de dos formas, eh, eh, five feet ten, five feet ten, así nada más, bien, esa ajá. es la forma sencilla, five feet ten, o la podemos decir eh, a quarter past five, como un cuarto pasado de las cinco. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Ajá. Oh, ajá. Eso es cuando está por lo menos la mitad del reloj, ¿verdad? Ajá. Cuando yeah. es de, ya después de las, digamos, después de las cinco y media, ya se, se ha agregado two. El, el, fe, el two o el fed for it. El fe, be for it. Algo así, ¿verdad? Be for it, que es antes. Ajá. 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 Solamente alcancé, alcancé a captar lo del two de ahí, ¿no? Ajá. Pero, eh, sí, o el tú, claro. ajá, más que todo dice ella que se ocupe el tú. Pero también se puede ocupar el Bay for it. Es como B E F O N E. Ajá. Before. 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 Before, va que sí. Yeah. Thank you for helping Victor. Ando un poco desanimado, teacher, me siento con sueño. ¿Qué me estoy? ¿En el café? Ya, ya, ya está. Solo está de sacarlo de la cafetera. Ah, ok, go. Go and, and get the coffee. Mire, vaya en lo que Víctor escribe ahí su respuesta. Ok, gracias. Voy a traerlo. Vaya, Víctor. Yo creo que quizás entró tarde, Víctor. Sí, sí, es que no estaba en casa y me, me ha bañado la tormenta. Hey, 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 okay. I will show you. I have a drink. Yeah, we were practicing with this one. Con eso estábamos practicando, mis. Entonces, para... Ajá, entonces, para decir la hora, hay dos maneras. La fácil y la otra un poquito más. Pero la fácil es, yo les ponía el ejemplo ahí, lo tienen en su celular y su WhatsApp. Ajá, esa la alcancé a captar. Ajá, si, se, si mira, ahí dice, por ejemplo, las 3 y 5, se puede decir, it's 3 o 5. Ajá. Así, esa es la fácil. Pero también puede decir, it's 5 past 3. Las 3 y 10, it's 3 10 o it's 10 past 3. 3.15 o it's a quarter past 3. 3. Las 3 y 20, it's 320 or it's 20 past 3. It's 325 or it's 25 past 3. Okay? Y luego it's half past 
three, las tres y media. Or it's three thirty. Uh, okay. Half different. Uh -huh. It's half past three, para decir las tres y media. O las tres treinta. It's three thirty. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y ya luego en el two, solo decimos los minutos que faltan para la siguiente hora, porque estamos diciendo para las, para las. Uh -huh. It's 25 to 4, 25 para las 4. It's 20 to 4, 20 para las 4. Ese sí lo entendió. Ajá, sí. Cuarto to four. Cuarto para las cuatro. Ajá, ¿qué fue lo que... O lo dice de la forma fácil, ¿verdad? Como it's three forty, las tres cuarenta. It's three forty five, las tres cuarenta y cinco. Entonces usted puede decir de las dos maneras. Yo tengo que enseñarles ambas. Cuatro y medio. Porque ya la vida real. Y luego le digo un cuarto a la una. Ahora. Ajá. Bueno. Entonces en el ejercicio, en el ejercicio ustedes aquí solo, aquí está la respuesta, ¿verdad? I wake eh, up eh. at, y solo tiene que poner la hora en que se levanta, escribirla oh, de las dos maneras. I have lunch ah. at, almuerzo a las, sí, la I drink la coffee tienda. at, tomo café a las, I go to sleep sí. at, me voy a dormir a, y usted dice la hora, ¿verdad? Solo va a completar con la hora, with the time. Pero sí me gustaría que para practicar lo dijeran de las dos maneras. Mm -hmm. Va. Ay, sí. Okay. Más o menos. Sí, sí. Okay. Sí, sí. <ríe> sí, oye. Vamos a ver si nos sale algo. ¿eh? Ok. <ríe> Ok, eh, Víctor. Eh, ¿Cómo le hacemos? ¿Te pregunto yo primero? ¿O me preguntas tú primero? You. You and me. Ok. Eh, why thank to your what up? Uh, I, I wake up at uh, my o'clock ok cinco en punto yes eh, what thing to you have lunch I have lunch I have lunch at one one o'clock In my work. <laughs> oh, clock. Clock. Okay. What thing to you drink coffee? Ah, I I drink coffee at uh, drink. four twenty. Four twenty or as our. Five past, uh, four past. Ay, ya se me olvidó. Um, four past. Four, five. No, four, no, no, no. Uh, twenty past four. Si era. Veinte pasado de las cuatro. Mm -hmm. uh, twenty past four. Four twenty. Okay. okay. What time? Do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at uh, 10 o'clock or mm -hmm. 10 p.m. Uh, o'clock p.m. Yeah. 10 p.m. o'clock. Okay, guys, I think we're going to... Oh, no, no worry. Continue practicing. Continue. Okay. Oh. Hello, Alfredo and Susie.
Ya volví. Hello. Susi en Alfredo. No sé si ya lograron para practicar. Me, estuve sin conexión, no he practicado. No, vaya, nos vamos a ir a la sesión principal. Creo que hay mucho problema hoy para entrar a la salita. Sí, a mí se me va la conexión porque de repente me saca de la reunión. Ajá, nos vamos a ir a la sala principal. Ok. La tercera. La tercera pregunta es, ¿a qué horas toma usted el café? Y de acuerdo no. a cómo hemos ido aprendiendo lo del reloj, así le va a poner usted una hora. La del café, no coffee. I, you don't drink coffee. I, I don't drink I coffee. coffee. <laughs> you say that, Carlita. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. Good for you. Good for you, but I can't live without it. <laughs> ¿Sí pudieron practicar? You could... Yo casi no. <laughs> mm. Yo estuve de oyente, es que entré muy tarde a la clase. Oh, Carlita, usted es la que me escribió, ¿verdad? Sí, estaba tronando mucho, lloviendo mucho y no me podía meter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it rained here. Aquí llovió también, it rained here. At one, one, one p.m., one thirty p.m. Very good, people. Nice. Thank you for practicing. Okay, I'm gonna ask different people. Let's see. Let's see. Pero, pero voy a hacer algo antes. Give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Today we have. People today, vamos a ver. Today we have Pedro, Eddie, Carla, Susie, eh, Teresa, Guillermo, Raúl. ¿A quién no he mencionado? A yo, teacher. Víctor, ok, Víctor. Ay, yo. <laughs> me, teacher, me, Victor. Ok, I will mention again. Pedro, Eric, Carla, Susi, Teresa, Guillermo, Raúl, and Victor. Yeah? Yes. 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 Ok, vaya. Give me a moment. Okay. Just, just one sec. Ok, give me a moment. Nice. Vamos a ver quién va a ser el sur. El the lucky person. The lucky person will be. The first person will be. Victor. Chifa. Ok, Victor. You are going to ask a partner. Usted le va a preguntar a un compañero. Ask a partner. What time okay. do you wake up? Um, uh, ¿A quién le va a cualquiera. Yes. Any person in the class. Yo lo elijo. Yes, you. You choose the person. Okay, Carla. What time do you wake up? Yo ahorita estoy perdida. Estoy hablando con mis compañeras, me creo algo tarde y. Yo ahora sí. Carlita. ¿Ah? ¿Qué? <risa> Carlita, try. ¿Sí? Try. Vaya, la pregunta es: ¿What time do you wake up? ¿A qué hora te, te despiertas? I wake up at. La respuesta es: Yo me le despierto a la. I wake up at. Y luego dice la hora. Puede decir la hora más fácil. At four, at five, at six, at ten, at one p.m. What time do you wake up? At six o'clock. 
Ok, ahora díganlo la oración completa. I wake up at six. I work. Wake, wake up. I wake up at six o'clock. You can do it. Good. Mm -hmm. Ahora, Carlita, usted le va a preguntar the second question, question number two, a alguien más. What time? What time? What, what time do you have lunch? Pedro. Pedro. I have lunch at uh, one. One o'clock, bien. One o'clock, ok. Very good, Pedro. Question number three. ¿A quién? Who's going to be the victim? Uh, Raúl. <laughs> Raúl, you are the victim. What time do you drink coffee? I drink a coffee at... <laughs> Three o'clock. At three o'clock. Nice. Okay, thank you, Raul. Okay, Raul. I don't need coffee. Yes, we are addicted to coffee, Joanna. <laughs> okay, Raul, now you ask a classmate. She doesn't like coffee. What? Now, Raul, you ask someone in the class. Usted le pregunta a alguien. What time do uh, Guillermo? What time do you go to sleep? Go to sleep at um, 10 o'clock. Okay, very good. You go to sleep at 10 o'clock. Excellent. Ya ven que no cuesta. It's easy, right? It's easy to tell the time. So I have just uh, this is important information be careful never 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 use am or pm with the expression of clock yeah. all with the words morning afternoon evening or night okay so it says here that it's incorrect it's incorrect to say i wake up at five o'clock a.m Okay, es incorrecto decir me levanto a las cinco en punto de la mañana. You, the correct way is I wake up at five o'clock or I wake up at five a.m. Okay, puede decir at five o'clock or at five a.m. Pero no o las podemos que, mezclar at five o'clock. O sea que si, si decimos a club no hay que decir a m. Ajá. Decimos AM, no hay que decir a club. Exactly. Solo una. Uh -huh. I have lunch. Podemos decir, podemos decir, por ejemplo, in the morning o in the evening. No. Eh, mm, no. No, bueno. No. <laughs> Thank yes. you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Pero sí puede decir five in the morning. Uh, I have lunch at uh, one in the afternoon. Or I I watch TV at a at night. I drink coffee at four in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. There is a um. There is a slide here that I didn't present. Hay una que me pasé. Ya lo voy a enseñar. This one. Okay. AM or PM. So here you can see some examples of different times of the day. Okay. In the, en la mañana decimos in the morning. Al mediodía se dice noon. It's noon. Es al mediodía. It's 12 o'clock or it's 12 p.m. Or it's noon. Okay? Así. It's 12 or it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. or it's noon. It's 4 in the afternoon. 
or it's 4 p.m. Okay, we have morning, noon, afternoon. It's seven in the evening. Son las siete de la noche. It's seven in the evening. It's seven p.m. It's ten at night. It's ten p.m. at night. Ya a las ocho, nueve, diez, once, do, once, it's night. Okay? It's twelve at midnight. Midnight. It's 12 at night. It's 12 a.m. Or it's midnight. Midnight, yeah? Medianoche. Medianoche. Oh. It's midnight. Okay, so we have morning, noon. Repeat after me. In the morning. In the morning. At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. In the afternoon, evening, 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 at night, at night, at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, Las preposiciones que usamos son diferentes. Por ejemplo, decimos in the morning. Usamos in the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. Con estas usamos in the. In, in the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. Evening. Ahora, con noon usamos at, at noon, at, noon. at night, at midnight, ok, so it's different, oh, mediodía, at night, at midnight, sí, en la noche, al mediodía, uh, en la noche y a medianoche usamos at, at noon, ah, at ya. night, okay. at midnight. Y en la otra, en la mañana, en la tarde y en la noche, usamos in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. ¿Nos da chance de copiar eso? Yes, of, of course. Go ahead. Next. Okay, nice. I see some people are still writing. At nine, it's midnight. Yes, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay, can we continue? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, guys, you will have a listening exercise. Uh, but you need to copy this. City and time. Vancouver, Bangkok, Tokyo, and Sao Paulo. Copy, please. Take notes. You need to copy this. Bangkok, Tokyo, and Sao Paulo. Uh, you are going to listen to a conversation between Tracy and Eric. They are calling friends in different parts of the world, in Bangkok, in Tokyo, and in Sao Paulo, Brazil. 
you will listen and write the time, the time in those cities. What time is it in Bangkok? What time is it in Tokyo? And what time is it in Sao Paulo? So I will, you will listen, you will listen, you have to pay attention and you're going to write the time, okay? The time in those cities. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Remember Bangkok, Tokyo and Sao Paulo. You will only listen because I cannot share that. No puedo compartir eso. Por derechos reservados. Pero ya van a escuchar. Ok, in a moment you will listen. Talk in the evening. It's 7 in Vancouver. Train M. It's midnight. It's 4. Listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Train. ¿Sí escuchan? Do you listen? Yes, sí. Yes, okay. Lucy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver. So it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsok. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week. Remember? Oh, right. Well... I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. Very nice. Do you need to listen one more time? Do you need yes, one more time. One more time. Okay. Give me a moment. Try also to take notes about what are what their friends are doing. If you can, if you can, if you can try to write this. Let's listen. It's seven o'clock. It's 12 o'clock at night. Friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsok. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week. Remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's 9 in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. Very nice. So what Page 32. What time is it in Bangkok? In Bangkok? It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Four it's four in in o'clock in Vancouver. It's four o'clock in Vancouver. But what time is it in Bangkok? It's seven. It's seven. Four. It's seven. It's seven. It's seven. Morning. It's seven. Or in the evening. <laughs> Morning, evening. 
If mm -hmm. having in the evening, yes, very. No, it's not having in the evening. Sorry. It's seven. In the morning. It's seven in the morning. It's seven a.m. And what is his friend doing? What is his friend doing? His friend Pensac in Bangkok. If it's seven a.m. If it's seven a.m., what is his friend doing? He is. He is asleep. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. sleeping. Okay. What time is it in Tokyo? Uh, it's nine nine a.m. It's nine a.m. And what time is it in Sao Paulo, Brazil? Oh, I in the evening. Nine in the evening. It's nine in the evening. It's nine in the evening. And what is Mariko probably doing in this moment? What is Mariko probably doing? Somebody? Ending every night. It's 9 p.m. What is Mariko probably doing? Three options. She is watching television, she is sleeping, or she is cooking. Ah, watching she's, television. She is watching television. She's probably watching television. And why are Tracy and Eric calling their friend? Why? Why are they calling their friends around the world? What is the important news? What is the important information they want to share? Mm. Yeah? No. They are? They are married. They are getting married. Uh -huh. At the end of the conversation, they say, we have to tell someone. We are getting married. Tenemos que decirle a alguien que nos vamos a casar. We are getting married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that is the listening, the first listening exercise. Very good. Now, guys, um, there is another conversation, pero creo que la vamos a hacer de último o mañana. Now, I would like you to practice this pronunciation tip. Rising and falling intonation. Okay. With present continuous, we have yes, no questions. And we have WH questions. Tenemos yes, no questions and information questions, right? ¿Verdad? This is a yes, no question. Is she getting up? Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are they sleeping? If you notice, the intonation, the intonation, the intonation rises, rises up, 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 rises. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Are you studying? But with WH questions or information questions, the intonation falls. The intonation goes down. For example, What's she doing? What are they doing? What are you drinking? What are you eating? So the intonation falls. Okay? Let's look at the following questions with falling intonation. Miren estas preguntas, la intonación cambia. Va para abajo. Cae, falls. Why is he going with us? Why is he going with us? What are you making for dinner? What are you making for dinner? Who is going with you? Okay, so the intonation falls. But let's make some examples when the intonation rises. Casi siempre que son preguntas. When we have questions. Con WH. With WH questions, 
the intonation four. Con WH question, la intonación es de arriba hacia abajo. Y cuando son preguntas yes, no, yes, no questions, la intonación sube. Ya vamos a practicar. Y les he puesto unas de yes, no questions. A ver, ¿quién le gustaría leerlas? Remember, just no question, the intonations rise. Is he listening to you? Okay, very good. Is he listening to you? Is his sister to you? Uh -huh. Vale, aquí están las preguntas. Ay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Se me borró todo. Por borrar una cosa, se me borró todo. Vaya, otra vez. Again. Can you, can you help me with a question? Yes, no question. A ver, vaya, leamos primero las WH questions. ¿Quién lee las WH questions? Why is he going with you? With us. With us. With us. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, second. Uh, what are you making for dinner? Right now. Dana. For dinner. Uh -huh. Who is going with you? Exactly. Vaya, ahora again, pero lo vamos a hacer más de corridito y con más entonación de pregunta. Ok. Why is he going with us? What are you making for dinner? Who is going with you? Vaya, otra vez, Victor. Again. Okay. Why is he going with with you? Us. Why is us? Ah. Why is he going with us? What are you making for dinner? Who is going with you? Very good. Eric. Eric Fernando, can you read the yes no question, please? Uh, okay. Is he listening to you? Are you eating? Uh, are you studying right now? Is he listening to you? Are you eating? 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 Uh -huh. Are you eating? Are you eating? Are you are you eating? Eating? Yes. Are you studying right now? Is he listening to you? Are you eating? Okay. So we have to make the intonation as questions. Tenemos que hacer la entonación de pregunta. ¿Verdad? Pero está bien, Eric. A ver, ¿alguien más quiere intentarlo? A ver, ¿quién quiere intentar las últimas preguntas? Yes, no question. Carlita, ya la vi con ganas, Carlita. <risa> bueno. Are you studying right now? Is he listening you, to you? Are you eating? Muy bien, excelente, good job. Sí, miren. Siempre hay problemas con este, con la pronunciación de esa palabra, de este verbo. 
no se preocupen. The pronunciation is study. Studying. Study. I study. I am studying. Studying. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Can I erase? ¿Puedo borrar? Can I erase? No. No yet. Todavía no. Can we continue, guys? I see. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> bueno, solo hablan los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Solo los ejemplos de... Um, the intonation, intonation. Yes, no questions and WH questions. And I'm just going to erase. Okay, good. Now over here we have some pictures with people doing different activities. Um, yo les voy a preguntar y ustedes me responden. X Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Yes, that's right. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's, yeah. it's, six, it's 6 a.m. It's, it's 6 a.m. So, 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 he's it's getting up. Getting up. He's getting up, yes. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. They're having breakfast. Okay. Who is sleeping now? Who is sleeping now? Uh, Victoria. Victoria is sleeping right now. Okay, who is having breakfast? Sue and, Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom. Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Great. Oh, yes. Very good. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's, She's going, going to, work. to work. Yes. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's no, very having lunch. So they are having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? Andre doing? He's working. He's working. Working. Okay. Questions. What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? She wearing suit. She's wearing a suit. What color is her suit? Red. 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 Ah, okay. So 
Celia. No, Celia Cruz, right? Celia. <laughs> Celia from Brazil. Sugar. 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 Celia is wearing red. a red suit. A red suit. Red. And. Red. And. Red. ¿Cómo se dice tacones? Heel. High heel. High heels, high heels yes. Yeah. And red high heels. Okay. High heel. Celia is wearing a red suit and red high heels. Okay. Now, other question. Where's Andre working? Where's Andre working? Where? Where is? Where's Andre working? Moscow. In Moscow, yes, but um, is he working at home, in the office, in the street? The office. Okay, he's working in the office in Moscow. 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 He's working in the office in Moscow. Okay, with Vladimir Putin. No, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why are James? <laughs> why are James and Anne having lunch? Why? London. But the question known. is why? Yeah. It's known. The children want to learn English too. <laughs> Okay, so why are James and Anne having lunch? Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? En pregunta es why. Because Mary. Y la respuesta es porque, because. Because it's noon and they are. It's noon and they are. Vaya, ¿qué pasa al mediodía? ¿Cómo nos sentimos todos al mediodía? When it's noon. Hambriento. Ay, how do you say hambriento in English? Hungry. Starving. Hungry. Starving. Or starving. Okay. So, because it's noon, why are James and Anne having lunch? Because it's noon and they are hungry. Right? Noon and they are hungry. That's it. Yeah. Are you hungry right now? No. Yes, no. I'm hungry. Why, Pedro? I'm starving. You are hungry. Uh, I, I ate a little on the lunch. Oh, okay. Good. And what time do you have dinner? Uh, it's a six six thirty, six thirty or seven. Six thirty or, or seven. So you should have a snack right now. A snack on the fridge. You should have a snack. Uh, uh, a cookie. A cookie. Or... Maybe a cookie or I like cookie. Fruit like a mango, an apple, uh, uh, an apple or banana. Yes. Apple or banana. Yes. Good. Good for you. Healthy snack. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. In the next picture, we have uh, three more pictures. It's Bangkok. It's seven p.m. What's Perm Sack doing? He's he's eating dinner right, right now. now. Yes, he's eating. He's eating dinner. Eating dinner. Was it's Tokyo 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? 
watching television. Watching television. He's watching television. He's watching television. He's watching a uh, Código 21. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> 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 and it's your city. What time is it in your city? Are you Midnight. Are you... No, but right uh, now in your city, right now in Santa Ana, well, in Ciudad Arce, in Lourdes, in, I don't know, San Salvador. It's 23 for, for, <laughs> it's 23 for, for to five, 23 to five. It's 23 to five, okay. Or, yes. Or. Or. Of. Uh, it's 40, 40, 40, 37, it's 37. Four. It's, it's four, it's four, 40, 37. 40 is 40, it's 4, 37, four. It's 30, uh, it's four. 4, 37, yes. What are you doing? I'm studying, I'm studying, I'm writing. Okay, you're studying. You can say here, I'm studying, or you can say, I am learning English, or I'm having a class. I'm having a class, I'm studying, I'm learning English, or I am having a class. Three options. I am listening to the teacher. I am taking notes. I am having fun with my classmates. Me estoy divirtiendo con mis amigos. With, con mis compañeras. I am having fun with my classmates. Okay? Now, questions. Where is Hiroshi watching television? Where? Where's Hiroshi watching television? Where apostrophe S means where is. It's the contraction of where is Hiroshi watching television? ¿Qué significa where? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan qué significa wear? En la ropa que usa. ¿Dónde? 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 ¿Dónde está Hiroshi viendo televisión? Where's Tokyo? Yes, but where? Exactly. Yes. But is he on the street? Is he in the park? Is he at home? In the home. At home. Yeah, home. At home in Tokyo. He's watching television at home in Tokyo. Okay, who is having dinner? Banco. Burnside. Burnside. Exactly. Exactly. Weird name, right? A strange name, weird. Un nombre raro. Permsag is having dinner. It's a strange name. Permsag is having dinner. Okay. So we practice WH questions in this case. Oh, now it's time to practice with you. Meaning, in this picture, you can see different, different activities. Okay. Number one, he is cleaning the apartment or cleaning the house, sweeping the floor, que significa eh, barrer, sweep, sweep the floor, dust, Significa limpiar el polvo, dusting, she's dusting. Uh, he's vacuuming the floor, vacuum. Vacuuming the floor, que es aspirar el piso. 
vacuuming or vacuum. He is washing the dishes, lavando los platos. He is washing, washing the dishes. He is doing the laundry, siendo la lavandería, he's doing the laundry. Number seven, she is ironing the clothes, ironing the clothes. Uh, she is feeding the baby, feeding the baby. Es alimentando, baby. dando de comer al bebé, feeding the baby. Feed. Rafa, no conectar. Okay, he, number nine, he is feeding the cat. Okay, feeding the cat. It's like me, yeah. right? Feeding the cat. Yeah. Very... <laughs> eh, she is walking the dog. Pasear el perro. She is walking the dog. Eh, number 11, he is watching TV. Number 12, she is listening to the radio. 13, he is listening to music. Four, he, 14, he is reading. 15, they are playing. 16, they are playing basketball. 17, he is playing the guitar. Oh, sorry. 18, she is practicing the piano. 19, she is, no, sorry, he, he is studying. And 20, he is exercising. He is exercising. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer aquí un ejercicio de escritura, writing exercise, about my friends. What are your friends doing? Or family, okay? What are your friends or family doing right now? Okay, and you will say it's what time is it? What time is it right now? What time is it? Four forty three. It's four forty four right now. Or let's say it's four forty five, okay? Or it's a quarter to it's five. a quarter to five. five. Okay. It's, a qu it's, a, it's a quarter to five. So my mother is, what is my mother doing? My mother is feeding the chicken because she has chicken. My mother is feeding the chicken. My niece is um, watching videos on YouTube. And my husband is working. Mm, my brother is walking the dog. He's walking his dog, Yuki. That's the name of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I am teaching. Okay. Ahora ustedes van a hacer... Van, van a hacer oraciones sobre your friends or family. You can try to use these verbs, these actions. Traten de usar estas acciones, estos verbos, para que eh, practiquen, practiquen estos. Sobre todo los más difíciles. Por ejemplo, los que nunca habían visto. Por ejemplo, ¿cuáles? ¿Cuáles son todos para ustedes? ¿Qué todos. Ver? todos. <ríe> Barrer, por ejemplo, limpiar el, el polvo, planchar. planchar, alimentar, feed the baby, feed the cat, feed the dog. Vaya, entonces el, el hagamos el vacuuming, ok. I can say, ok, try to use, ok. What are your friends or family doing right now? You will use the present continuous. Vamos a hacer las oraciones por lo menos cinco, at least five. Luego you take a picture, take a picture and send it in the WhatsApp group. Me van a tomar fotos a sus oraciones y las mandamos al WhatsApp. Okay? 
¿Cuántas? At least five. Por lo menos cinco. At least five sentences. Okay. At least. Por lo menos. Minimum. Minimum five. But there's no limit. You can write ten. You can write twenty. And that would be wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> Another option could be that you can change the time. También pueden cambiar la hora. Eh, pueden poner, por ejemplo, it's 7 p.m. and my mother is eh, watching television. And my father is eh, walking the dog. And my brother is eh, listening to the radio. And my children are playing soccer. Okay, también pueden cambiar la. You can change the time. Solo le ponen ahí it, la hora, y luego lo que están haciendo. Eh, voy a enviarles unos ejercicios de la, de la hora, el tiempo, telling the time, para que puedan practicar. Ok. And remember that tomorrow is the last class. Mañana es la última clase. Así que espero que no falten. I hope to see you tomorrow. La, la última clase de, 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 del primer módulo. El de que primer es... módulo, sí, del módulo uno. Ya ah, mañana. Para, para el inglés básico. O sea, ¿y, y de, cuántos módulos son para el inglés básico? Del básico son, son tres. Uh -huh. Tres módulos. Tres. Luego van al pre-intermedio, que son tres. Luego van al intermedio, que son tres. Y así. Luego ah, el... Okay. Y así. Uh -huh. Perfecto. <risa> no sé si ya les mandaron la, la hoja de inscripción. Todavía no. ¿No les han... ¿A uno? ¿A uno? A uno. Ok.
Ya les envío el ejercicio. This exercise is listening and writing. El que les acabo de enviar. Primero tienen que escribir. Y luego en la siguiente parte, en la parte 2, tienen que escuchar y escribir la obra. X and you write. Okay. It's four fifty three. It's seven to five. Are you about to finish? Yo siento que con ustedes no me alcanza el tiempo. Okay, but it's good. It's good. That's nice. Because you're learning. ¿Cómo vamos? How many sentences do you have? ¿Cuántas oraciones llevan? Four. Four sentences. Okay, you're about to finish, Guillermo. Ah, Víctor, sería Víctor. X4, 15, 4, and my sis and my daughter is cleaning the room. <coughs> mm, ahorita le pongo la asistencia. Eh, Rafa, no le he puesto. Yay, hey, good. <laughs> My mother is cooking. My daughter is sleeping. Sería Rafael. My daughter is sleeping. Uh, I am watching TV. I am. El verbo to be. I am watching TV. My dog is barking. El verbo to be. El ing en el verbo. My grandmother is going on a trip. Oh, that's great. ¿Qué tal van en la plataforma, chicos? En mi caso ya, ya va por la lección 5, ya la terminé. Good, you're just missing the exam. Uh -huh. ¿Todo le falta el examen? No, ya lo hice también. Great, great. Ok, ahí el que acaba de mandar, my mom is right on me, my daughter is feeding, my wife is reading, my dad is 
playing. My dad is playing with, ahí sí no sé qué quiso poner con Gert. I am watching television at 8 o'clock. I am watching television. My dad is playing, pero no sé qué quiso decir con Gert. Guillermo. Al es niño. Niño. Eh, papá juega con la niña. Ah, ok. My dad is... Lo escribí ah, oh. mal, perdón. Sí, pero dad is playing with girl. Es E en vez de la I, ¿verdad? No, no. Está casi bien, solo en vez de T es L. Ah, ok, ok. Con la pequeña niña, with the little girl. Ahí le puse un E. Next, mm. Rodríguez. Peter, it's 5 p.m. My daughter is cleaning the house. No se les olvide el ING en el... Cleaning the house. It's 4.45. My older son is washing the dishes. Great. It's 5.50. My little son is watching videos on YouTube. It's 4.55. My wife is coming home. You have to be... The house has to be clean. <laughs> my wife is coming home. It's five o'clock. My mother is working right now. Okay. Wow, well, we just have two minutes before we finish the class. Antes que nos vayamos, solo quiero que me ayuden a hacer este ejercicio. Ya les digo cuál. You will help me with this exercise quickly. Just before we go, what time is this? Tell me, what time is this? It's two, it's two to five. Hmm? It, look at it's the... two to five. Yes, but in the here in the presentation, can you see it again? <laughs> no, ven en la pantalla. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. It's correct. What mm -hmm. time is it? <coughs> it's 6.30. It's Are you sure? It's 6.30. It's 7. It's 7.30. 7.30. Okay, yes. next. What time is it? Next. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, yes. Okay, what time is it? Eleven. It's eleven thirty. It's eleven thirty. Eleven thirty, yes. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. What time is it? It's nine. It's a quarter to four. It's a quarter to four. It's five. Quarter to four. Yes, 15 minutes to four. What time is it? It's, it's a quarter after five. It's a quarter after five. That's correct. What time is it? It's five after six. Yes, that's correct. What time is it? It's at 1258. 1258. It's 1258. Purple. Purple. The purple one. Yeah, but tell me the time. What time you see? The last one. It's a five. It's five after 15. It's five after 15. 
Son, dice, las... Son cinco después de las quince. Son las quince horas. No. It's 5.15. Ah, ya se tenía trampa. It's 5.15. 5.15, las 5.15. Okay, very nice. Thank you, people, for connecting to the class. Thank you for your participation. It's 5.02, so it's time to say goodbye, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is the last bye. Bye bye. See you bye. 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 Bye.